All right, I want to walk through the solution of the two extra problems associated with section 15.2. Uh, the first one, we were asked to do a plain old line integral of uh, the integral over a curve of a function f ds, where the function f of x, y, and z was given to be x, y, and z, and the curve was a straight line from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 2, 3. So these problems can all be broken down into three steps. The first step is to parameterize the curve. So it's a straight line between 0, 0, 0 and 1, 2, 3, and we saw in the notes that this can be parameterized by a vector function, r of t, equals 0, 0, 0, the initial point, plus the final point minus the initial point times tau. In this case, that's just 1, 2, 3 times tau. Or very simply, 1, 2, 3 times tau. And the range of tau is from, the domain of tau is 0 to 1. So when tau equals 0, we'll be at the origin, and when tau is 1, we'll be at the point 1, 2, 3. So here, we have parameterized the curve itself. The second step is to calculate the length element, ds. In Cartesian coordinates, that's given as the square root of, uh, or rather, it's the magnitude of r prime of tau in any coordinate system. In Cartesian coordinates, that's the square root of the time derivatives here, 1, 2, and 3, so we get the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared for the square root of 14 d tau. So we've now calculated ds. The last piece is to construct a parametric representation of the integrand f on the curve c. Uh, and this is maybe the most conceptually involved part, but it's really not that bad. So we have the function f of x, which is x, y, z, but the points on the curve are given by the, the vector function tau, 2 tau, 3 tau. So on that curve, x equals tau, y equals 2 tau, and z equals 3 tau. So on the curve c, the function f of x can be thought of as f of x of tau, which is just tau times 2 tau times 3 tau, or 6 tau cubed. Putting it all together, I have uh, attempted to color code things here. We have the contour integral of the function f ds, is the integral over tau from 0 to 1 of the function f of x of tau, 6 tau cubed, ds becomes root 14 d tau. So this is now just a calculus 2 integral that you can do very simply, and we get uh, uh, an answer at the end, 3 halves root 14. The second problem is similar, except in place of the scalar integrand f, we have a, a dot product of a vector function f times the tangent of the curve itself, ds. And we frequently see these kinds of integrals in uh, various kinds of physics problems. So it's a very common thing. You'll encounter it very frequently. Uh, the vector field f was given to be minus xi minus yj minus zk, while the curve c is the set of points described by the vector function r of tau, where x equals tau y equals 0, so there's no j component, and z equals tau plus 1, with tau going from minus 1 to 1. So this parameterization was given to you when you started the problem. Uh, we don't need to do step 1, we can proceed straight to step 2. The length element is the absolute value of r prime of tau, uh, the magnitude of that vector rather, and so we take the square root of the two derivatives, square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared, and just the square root of 2 d tau. Step three is to construct a parametric representation of the integrand. So on the curve, minus xi minus yj minus zk becomes minus tau i minus tau plus 1 times k, because there's no y component in the curve. The unit tangent is, uh, let's fix that, um, the vector r prime of tau divided by the magnitude of the vector r prime of tau, uh, which is just i plus k, and then we need to normalize that, and we get the square root of 2. Hence, f dot t is going to be the dot product of these two vectors. And when we dot the i components together, we get minus tau over root 2. The, the k components, we get tau minus tau plus 1 over root 2. And they can be simplified into this scalar function here. 
So now we just put the pieces together. Again, contour integral becomes the integral from tau equals minus 1 to 1. f dot unit tangent becomes a scalar function of tau, and ds becomes a scalar multiple of d tau. All right, and so now again, we just have a calculus 2 problem that you can do without any trouble.